everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. Now today is a really exciting today because it is the launch day of the brand new pattern from Tilly and the Buttons and she is an absolute beauty. So this new pattern is called Mabel and this, is, this pattern is for a dress or a blouse that has the most beautiful, really pretty shearing details, both at the waist and um, at the cuffs. Now this is um, a pattern that's designed for improvers, so it's not an absolute beginner um, pattern, but Tilling the Buttons instructions are, they're award winning for being really easy to follow. They have step by step um, photographs that, you know, talk you all the way through the making of the pattern. Um, so yeah, they're just fantastic instructions. The size range for this pattern is in the new extended size range, which is fantastic, which covers sizes uh, UK 6 to 34. And it's so a little bit more detail about the pattern itself. So like I say, it's either a dress or a blouse. And there's just so many details on this pattern. It's really, really, I think it's a really lovely pattern and lots to get your teeth stuck into, but still a relatively quick and easy sew. So the dress version, uh, well, both the dress and the blouse version have a gathered detail at the neckline, uh, which is a, a very sort of slight V neckline. And um, it has a, like a, a drawstring tie right at the front in the centre. Then it has a gathered detail on the shoulder here that goes into the sleeve and you have either a short sleeve or a long sleeve option both of which have shearing details at the edge of the sleeve. Now on the longer sleeve option it's a very deep sheared cuff and on the shorter sleeve option it's a shorter um, section of shearing that draws it in. And then the, the bit I really love on this pattern is the shearing detail which is quite a wide band that goes all around the waist so it draws it in at the waist um, and then back out again into either a peplum style blouse or quite a full skirted dress so yeah it's uh, the, the, like I said both versions are very similar it's just obviously one's a blouse and one's a dress version and it's it's just gorgeous now the fabrics that this pattern suggests are lightweight woven fabrics that can gather easily so things like cotton lawn poplin voile seersucker viscose or crepe so um, yeah, for me, I think a fabric like this, uh, sorry, a pattern like this, it requires you want something with a, you know with some drape in there because of how that waist gathers in that puff sleeve and how that gathers into the cuff. So in today's video, I've got a selection of different fabrics to share with you. So I've got a few different prints, but but the main difference between all these are all different types of base cloths so hopefully this will be really helpful especially to those that you may you know maybe struggle pairing fabrics with a pattern um, because I'll talk you through you know why I've chosen these fabrics and why I think they would be good for the Mabel so let's jump in so the first one I've got is a viscose chalet fabric now this is one of our core ranges so it's a plain fabric um, that comes in a lot this fab this particular one comes in loads of different colors now this is a, this is a really beautiful rich deep pink color um, that I think would be really pretty for the Mabel and I actually chose it because it's so similar to the one that they've made on the envelope of the pattern it would pretty much make an identical dress so if you really loved that version you could recreate it with this fabric um, but why a viscose chalet is good for the Mabel is because one it is a lightweight uh, well a light to medium weight woven fabric it has lots of drape as you can see it's a very soft and fluid fabric and because it's soft and fluid it means it will gather up easily so on all of those sh um, sheer details and the gathering at the neckline it will hang really well so yeah if you and this the other thing with this fabric that makes it lovely is that it's because it's made of viscose it'll be lovely and breathable so it'd be beautiful to wear when well, the weather's a little bit warmer but you know likewise you can wear it all year round so yeah that's a really a really good option and it's a nice affordable fabric that one um, and like I say in so many colors so I think whatever color you wanted I'm sure we'll have something in the range at Minerva the next one I've got now, this is a viscose dobby fabric. This one's actually from Atelier Brunette. And this is the beautiful, it's like a forest green color. Now you might not be able to pick this up on camera, um, but you should, 
um, well you're definitely able to see it on the um, product images on our website which we'll tag below this video but what makes this fabric different to the last one is the Dobby Jacquard weave that's woven into the fabric so from a distance it might look like a plain fabric but when it catches the light and when you look up close you can actually see that it has a Dobby weave in there so that Dobby weave adds a little bit to the weight of the fabric but not much it and it because it has the it's made from 100% viscose just like the last fabric so it is actually very similar in characteristic you know you can see it's soft and drapey uh, it's very fluid again it gathers really really well um, and this one again does come in a quite a few different colors and um, so there's lots to choose from so this is a good option you know if you want a plain fabric but you just want something you know not totally plain just a little bit of something that makes it really really special the next fabric I've got so this is um, a charmeuse silky satin fabric and this is I mean it feels like liquid this fabric it is so silky so drapey so fluid and it's amazing fabric and this, um, with it being a satin, it obviously has a shiny finish. Now it's not very shiny like some um, satin fabrics. I would describe this as more leading towards the matte end of a satin. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and you can, you can see the fluidity and the softness. You know, that means it gathers really really well so it would gather beautifully into those shearing details it's another Minerva core range so it comes in lots and lots of different colours I particularly love this petroly teal colour but there's loads that you can choose from on Minerva and yeah it would definitely make a more dressed up special occasion kind of version of Mabel so you know perhaps if you were going to you know a fancy wedding or you know any kind of fancy special occasion um, you know made in a satin fabric like this could could be really lovely but because it's a shamu silky satin it still has that drape and those really fluid characteristics that you need for the Mabel so next up we have this is another plain fabric but it's di completely different to all the ones we've looked at so far now this is a polyester moroccan crepe fabric so um, as the pattern suggests crepe fabrics are perfect for the Mabel um, because you know they have fluidity they have softness they have drape that means that they will uh, gather up beautifully as this one does and they will hang and drape really well I think this fabric is a really good one because it's a beautiful weight and it has a really subtle crepe texture in there which again just makes it a little bit different from an, an absolutely complete plain fabric um, it's another again Minerva core range and this one comes in loads of different colours just like the first one does this one is our um, deep like bottle like foresty kind of green colour which is really really rich and pretty but like I say it comes in loads of different colours so I'm sure whatever colour you're looking for we will have it at Minerva and yeah it's a fantastic price point is this one as well and because it's made of polyester um, you know it does have the the um, it does mean that it's not going to crease so maybe you know if you're taking it on a holiday or traveling somewhere with it uh, and it does make it very practical for washing as well uh, but you know it is um, you know more at the cheaper end price point and um, you know perhaps if you were making a version in a more expensive you know maybe luxury fiber uh, luxury natural fiber you know but perhaps you want to twall it first you know this could be a fantastic fabric to make your twall version in because you know you know it will have the same characteristics then as a viscose or a tensile um, but you know you're not cutting into your very expensive fabric on your first make so yeah that's another really lovely one Next up, so we're going to go into some cotton fabrics next. Now, cotton fabrics, it does suggest, you know, cotton lawn on the pattern, but I think you've got to be careful with, with cotton. You don't want anything too stiff. Um, and it does actually recommend poplin on the pattern and that is definitely going to make a version that you know where the sleeves stand more proud and the dress kind of the skirt section kind of sticks out a little bit more and that's you know there's nothing wrong with that that's not wrong it's just going to create a different look now the cottons that I've gone for are all on the more softer end of cottons um, which all have a little bit more drape than maybe like a, a poplin or a broadcloth or something like that which I think lend themselves really well to the pattern so the first one I've got this is um, a cotton lawn fabric from Atelier Brunette 
and I think the print on this is really really stunning but as you can see you know that that's a cotton that certainly has plenty of drape it's really soft really silky really really beautiful and yeah I think it, it absolutely has enough softness and drape that allows it to gather really really well and it would just hang beautifully in that pattern and yeah this one actually comes in another colorway as well but I think yeah this one is definitely my favorite now the next one this is actually another Italia brunette fabric and this is the gingham double gauze fabric now what makes this one special is that well double gauze is made of two layers of single gauze that have been joined together invisibly by stitches that run all throughout the fabric so it makes two layers of fabric into one fabric and what makes this one really special is that on one side you can see it's this check that's about a centimetre square and on the reverse it's a check that's much smaller but obviously in the same colours and it just gives you loads of flexibility so you could make you know, the whole dress or blouse in the larger check or all of it in the smaller check or you could maybe have a little bit of fun and combine different you know you could maybe make the sleeves in the smaller check or the larger check and then the rest of the dress or the top in the other size check so it just gives you lots of options and this fabric does as well comes in lots of colours this is like the denim blue and ivory colour um, but it does come in lots of colours and there's actually some brand new ones for summer that have just been added onto the site very recently so do check those out as well Next up we have um, a cotton Swiss dot fabric. So this is 100% cotton and what makes this fabric special is, hopefully you'll be able to see this on camera, but along the surface of the fabric it ha actually has these little tufts of cotton fibres that create this dotty texture Hopefully if I hold that up you'll be able to see it catch the light, um, but if not, if you check out the photos on our website um, of this fa fabric, which will tag everything below as always, you'll be able to see up close pictures that show you that texture. So again, this is another fabric that, um, you know, it's, it's plain, yes, but that dotted texture just gives it an extra something. Um, and with it being 100% cotton, uh, you know, it's lovely and breathable. It's, it's got a really lovely softness as this. And um, yeah, it's a lightweight cotton. Um, so in the very pale colours, you know, it might be slightly sheer. So if you wanted to do it, you know, in, in white or a lighter colour, you might be best sticking to the blouse option. Um, and you know wearing a, um, a nude coloured underwear underneath um, but in the darker colours like this navy blue you know I don't think you need to worry about lining that at all even though it is a lightweight cotton um, and you can see how I've gathered it up there you know it doesn't drape quite so much as you know the viscose and those earlier fabrics I showed um, but it is certainly enough uh, there's enough drape there to be able to make them able and for it to be really successful and work really well and the last cotton I've got to share with you, so this is a cotton sateen fabric. So cotton sateens generally come um, either in a lightweight non-stretch cotton sateen like this one is, or um, a heavier weight stretch cotton sateen. Now a heavier weight stretch cotton sateen definitely wouldn't be suitable for this, for this uh, pattern, you know, it'd be too voluminous, too structured, but the lightweight cotton sateens would be wonderful because as you can see, it still has some drape, it has some softness, it still pleats up really, really nice nicely and yeah just it, it would be absolutely beautiful this print is actually a John Caldor one I love this turquoise colour with the um, like the coral pink flowers I think it's so so pretty I think that will make an amazing Mabel um, but yeah another example of a different kind of base cloth that would work well and lastly, I wanted to finish with our Minerva exclusive viscose chalet fabrics because out of all the fabrics I'm sharing with you today, you know, when I first saw this pattern, I instantly thought viscose chalet uh, would be absolutely perfect. And, and our uh, Minerva exclusive one, I think is the most perfect weight for either the blouse or the dress. Um, it has a little bit more weight than you often find in a viscose chalet, um, does our range. And that would just be, it would work so so well for a pattern like this you know you wouldn't need to worry about it being see-through at all and the weight 
coupled with that amazing drape that it has, oh, it would just be beautiful. It would hold that puff sleeve um, amazing. It would draw in at the waist beautifully. You know, if you made the dress version, that skirt would swish as you moved. It would feel beautiful against your skin. I think this will be absolutely gorgeous. Now, I've got a few prints to share with you, just to give you some ideas on the different sort of prints that I think would lend really well to this, um, this pattern. So this first one is our Wildflower Fusion design and as you can see it's a really pretty floral lilac um, design with you know all different shades of lilac and purple and hints of pink in there and there's, if you look up close you can see little butterflies in and amongst all those flowers it's really really sweet um, and I don't think you wouldn't really have to worry about pattern matching at all it does have you know sort of um, you can see sort of like panels of the design so you might want to lay the, you know um, match those up at the side seams but apart from that you know it's not going to require too much um, sort of head scratching or pattern matching and I think the, the very pretty, girly, feminine vibes of this fabric would really suit that pattern. And the next one I've got, so this is a tropical print design and I love the background colour of this one. Isn't that absolutely stunning? So it's quite, it's like um, a, almost between a jade green or a petrol colour, like this greeny turquoise colour in the background. And then all the plants and the, the, the leaves that are scattered over the surface, um, it's really interesting print because lots of the, the leaves are filled in with animal print designs and all different ones, all in shades of like golds and camels, browns, even a touch of olive green there. It's really, really unusual. Such a designer print. I, when we source this print from the, um, the one of the designers that we work with to create our exclusive collections, I mean, I just fell in love with this straight away and I knew we had to print it on fabric as soon as I saw it. Um, and what you might not be able to see until you look up close, which is just an, an extra layer of wonderful detail in this print, is that on the sections that look quite plain, there's actually another layer of, of leaves that have been printed on there, which almost, it's almost like a shadow of the darker, bolder print that lays on top. And it's just, it just takes it to an extra level, I think, that it's so, so beautiful. And yeah, I think it would, you know, it's less, I guess, girly and feminine than the Wildflower Fusion print, but I think it will be equally lovely. You know, you can wear that in summer or all year round. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. The next one is a much darker print and it's a real statement print is this one. I actually have a piece of this at home. I haven't decided what to make in it yet, so it could well be that I think the dress version in this would be really lovely. And look at that print. Jellyfish in those magical colours. And look at the scale of that print. Isn't that fabulous? And it's on a black background, so those colours really out. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think the scale of this print, to me, that would suit the dress. I mean, you could make the blouse in it as well, but for me, I'd probably make the dress in that. And I just think that's that would be absolutely stunning. It would make such an unusual dress. You know, something you never find in the shops. It would just be fabulous. And then the last one is this gorgeous print. Now, this one I'm ending on because this, I think, screams spring and summer. It will be absolutely beautiful in the Mabel. This is our Rose Relations print. I've already made a top in this, but I do want to make a dress in it for summer as well. So again, the Mabel dress, I, I just think this would be an absolute pattern and fabric match made in heaven. It's, it's made for it. It's absolutely gorgeous for spring and summer. How much joy would it bring you to wear a dress or a blouse in this? It'd be absolutely beautiful. So that's all the fabrics I had to share with you. So I hope you found that inspiring. I tried to include, you know, a mix of prints and planes in lots of different base cloths, you know, to really give you lots of ideas on, um, you know, fabrics that are suitable, but also, you know, the types of fabrics and what to look out for in different base cloths, you know, that, that give you the signs as to whether it's going to be suitable for a particular pattern like this that requires softness and drape. Um, so yeah, do let me know in the fabrics, in the, uh, sorry, in the comments below which was your favourite fabric that I've picked today. Do let me know, are you going to be sewing Mabel? It's, I think it's 
I think this pattern is actually something a little bit different for Tilly and the Buttons. Um, you know, it's it's venturing away from you know some of the style, you know, the very um, iconic kind of almost seventies look styles that she that she very often designs. And maybe it's something a little bit new for them, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on the pattern in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and whether you are planning to sew this or not. And if you are, what sort of fabrics are you going to choose? I'd love to hear. Um, so I will tag um, all the fabrics and the pattern below this video um, so you'll find all those links below so if you want to check out um, you know more details on the pattern or you know look at what other colours are available in all these fabrics um, you can do that via the links that I'll put below. And as always, the great thing with the Minerva website is when uh, any makers in the Minerva community post their makes on Minerva, if they tag the patterns and the fabrics in that post, they will show on the product pages, you know, so you will be able to see what other people have made using all these um, fabrics. And of course, when people start posting their Mabel makes, you'll be able to see those as well. I can't wait to see uh, the versions that people make with this pattern. So if you love to sew, why not come and join um, the amazing community? at Minerva. Head to Minerva.com, create a free profile, it's completely free and you can join our wonderful sewing community there. There are thousands and thousands of sewers from all over the world um, that you can chat to sewing, you can you know ask for tips and advice, you can share your works in progress, you can share photos or videos even of your finished makes and just generally get involved in the sewing community there at Minerva. It's such a wonderful place you know to be to distract yourself from everything else that might be going on in the world and just chat with people all about sewing and you know with people that love sewing just as much as you do. It's a wonderful place and we'd love to invite you there um, you know to to join in the community with us so thanks very much for watching today uh, like I said I'll tag everything below if you want 10% off all these fabrics uh, the new pattern everything on Minerva you can join our craft club again I'll put links below to that so thanks very much for watching today if you did like it please give us a like and a follow we'd really appreciate it and I will look forward to seeing you next time with more pattern and fabric and sewing goodness.